Okay. Kun's not the most responsible guy, but he's smart, athletic, and popular with the ladies. On top of that, his family is rich. He's got all the latest video game consoles in his room. That movie's a hidden gem. It's tough to get a hold of these days. She always seems to be sleeping. It's odd. And then she shows up in my dreams. I can't help but be a little curious about her. Come to think of it, I saw Shiba Kun in a dream the other day. A pretty creepy one. Something about an android. Bad news, Juro. Amiguchi's gone missing again. Betty's at the cafeteria. Get ready to head over. Are you thinking of crashing his place again? Why not? Forgot. I forgot I had a flyer in there. I never finished One reading the this movie. Sorry, I have plans. A sci-fi movie from 1954, heavy on the special effects. The first in what would become a long-running series. A sci-fi movie from the first in what come to this a pretty. Cr for but <laughs> I found a little something else you've been wanting to see you know that hardcore foreign movie don't make it sound so creepy it's just a sci-fi flick I also take the next episode of that drama series the one where the alien runs away to earth hmm is that the one where he teleports from the UFO to the bridge uh, oh you've seen it already I don't really remember watching it, but... I don't know. Maybe I did. Hey, about Fuyasaka-san. I noticed she always leaves during break time. Yeah? What about it? I'm just wondering where she goes all the time. Judging from what the other girls have been saying? She runs off to the nurse's office to take a nap. She's sleeping? What? You want to follow her to bed? Uh, come on, quit it. We can't go to his place every single day. What if we're annoying him? Then let him be annoyed. I still get to play his games. Remember the original Daimos movie I mentioned? Mighty Kaiju Daimos? They're showing it at the theater right now. Wanna go see it? Isn't that the crappy old theater by Tsutsuji Station? I'd rather rent it on video. Then we can watch it on Amiguchi's big TV. Cheaper, too. While I was taping that show, I remembered something else. I totally forgot last week. They were airing UFO Wars on TV. I can't believe I missed it. I actually taped UFO Wars myself. Wanna borrow it? Oh, I'm in luck. The quality's not that great, though. I recorded it in EP mode. Jeez, get your hands on some better tapes. Released in 1977, 
This was the first in a hit series from the United States. It's a dramatic sci-fi adventure taking place in a galaxy far, far away. Its popularity holds strong no matter how much time passes. In that movie, an alien's UFO breaks down. So he runs away to take refuge on Earth. There's a famous scene where he teleports onto a bridge. Is that this week's issue? Yep. Last week was a real cliffhanger. I'm dying to know what happens. Well then, allow me to explain. After all hell breaks loose, the main character just... Stop right there. One more word, and you're going on my shit list. <laughs> Didn't you want to go to Amiguchi-kun's house? Whoops. This is no time to be reading comics, huh? Let's head to the cafeteria. If we're too slow, we'll lose him. Let's head to the cafeteria. If we're too slow, we'll lose... Let's head to the... If we're too slow... <sighs> Not here either, huh? Well, oh, crap. So much for gaming today. Think the girls might know where he is? Maybe they've seen him somewhere. I know you were eavesdropping earlier. You know, Kisaragi and the others. Did they mention him? I don't know. Guess we're out of options. Let's just go home. Huh? Oh, Juro-kun! Hi, Minami-san. Uh... What's up? Well, uh, you know, about that guy. I'm just wondering how long he's planning to stay over. Ah, right. About that. Um, he's got a lot going on, you know. If you could let him stay a bit longer, I'd appreciate it. You're the best. Oh, would you look at the time? I've got to go. Let's talk later, okay? Who's that chick? Minami-san, my neighbor. My grandma's pretty close with her family. You're looking pretty close yourself. What are you trying to the imply? This is a serious issue at home. I was supposed to have this free time to myself. Ah, so much for that. Ever since that day, my life's been turned upside down. Uh-huh. Uh, guess I fell asleep. Mmm. Smells good. Oh, you're up. Dinner's almost ready. Could you get the chopsticks? I fell asleep with the TV on. Place them at the table. 
She probably didn't realize it, but these are matching chopsticks, like for a married couple. <sighs> that only makes me feel even more awkward. we go. <laughs> it's like we're newlyweds or something. Okay, no. I'm not following that train of thought. I need to come up with a way to kick her out. Dinner's ready. Shall we start? You have bags under your eyes. It's because you stay up late watching movies every night. You need to get to bed early. We're the same age. Stop acting like you're my mom. Besides, I can't fall asleep even if I wanted to. Oh? Why not? Well, because... <laughs> you're here. Me? Have I done something wrong? Come on. We're a boy and a girl... ...alone together? Puberty exists! Uh, are you trying to torture me? Hey... Um... Uh, we really shouldn't be living together like this. Are you afraid of someone finding out? Well, that's... part of it. Anyway... I want you out of here by next month. If you say so. Someone's here. Hide! Jeez. Jiro-kun! Are you home? Minami-san. Couldn't you have knocked first? Come on, your Granny Tamao and I are best buds. We're neighbors. Think I don't know my way around the place? Anyway, I've got a favor to ask. Oh my god, Juro kun I didn't know you cooked. <laughs> so, uh, what's this favor you need? The favor is... Oh, Minami-san. I didn't know you lived so close. Did you really need to come out? You're... Yakushiti-san, our classmate? Wait, no way. Are you two... Do you need something from him? It's not what it looks like. This is just... You know... Natsuno-san? Oh, come on in! Pardon my interruption. <sighs> so this house is still standing. Who are you? My name is Keitaro Miura. So, um, it's kinda complicated, but yeah. I need you to let him stay over for a few days. What? I understand you're Tamao-san's grandson. How do you know Minami-san? Come on, I know you have a spare room. Just let him stay until your granny's back. In exchange, I won't tell anyone you're living with a girl. <laughs> That's not... The details don't matter. Just let him stay, all right? Pardon me. I know Natsuno-san's intentions are good, but... Are you hungry? Why don't you join us for dinner? <sighs> there goes my simple high school life. Things just keep getting weirder and weirder.
Oh. Why so tense? It's your house. Take a load off. <sighs> Ignoring me, huh? You must think you're so cool. People notice you're always alone, you know. Huh. Come on, you're always so sensitive. A real high maintenance girl, aren't you? I was trying to say that you're smart. Friends are pointless. They'll all be toast once the end comes. Being alone is the most logical solution. What should I make for dinner? I think we have some fish. I think Juro would like some fish. I'll grill some mackerel. Oh, and simmer some taro. You really are an unpleasant cat. <laughs> Be honest. You know you like me. The first time you saw me, you were all fluffy, fluffy. Chasing me around with that dumb look on your face. That, that's not true. So, what did you think about your first time? <sighs> Did you already forget? You know, with the gun. And you shooting Renya Goto? Don't say it like that. Don't go all gooey on the inside now. Come on, you can tell me. What was it like? Shooting that pale, arrogant prick. It felt great, didn't it? My first task after agreeing to the contract. The first witch I sealed. I wonder what happens to them. All right, whenever you're ready. If you're ready, that is. Easy for you to say. But actually pointing a gun at someone is just... It's not just a gun, it's a magical gun. Or would you rather it be a magical kitchen knife? I... don't want that. You extinguish the evil in the person you shoot. Or if they could, they'd thank you for saving them. Still... Ready or not, here he comes. Yakushiji. It was quite unexpected of you to ask for me. What do you need? Um, well... I just wanted to see how things were going. You didn't need to call me out here to do that. Why didn't you just come to the hangar? I, um... I don't really like looking at that robot too much. I see. Anyway, we need a password to remove the infection. But it has yet to be found. If you got in the Sentinel right now, you'd likely end up in the same state as Juro. You don't say. but it is yet to be found. If you got in the Sentinel right now, you'd likely end up in the same... You don't say. Dumbass, don't look over here. Oh. Just shoot him already. Idiot.
This is insane. I can't just... Don't worry. And if you don't... Then we fight with the Sentinels as they are. We couldn't possibly win like that. Maybe so, but we cannot do nothing. At least Juro has not lost his ability to fight. <sighs> Let him hurt Juro again. I have a better idea. <sighs> oh no! What have I done? You shot him in the arm. That'll do. Are you sure he's not hurt? Yeah, yeah, he'll just be a little loopy. How am I supposed to face him after this? It's called a magical gun for a reason, numbnuts. His memories of before and after being shot will be all fuzzy. He won't even remember coming to meet you. Well, we should probably make ourselves scarce now. Wait! My first task after a group, the first witch I sealed. I wonder what it's not something. I only did what you asked me to do. What I asked you to do? You shot him in the arm from point blank range. I didn't ask you to pull off a stunt like that. But as long as it was on some part of his body. It shouldn't matter where I hit him, right? Oh, maybe I chose the wrong person. This one's got no sense of ownership. Your future's looking pretty bleak, kid. Listen, this isn't some idiot child's errand. We have a contract. Do I need to say it slowly for you? I'll grant your wish. And in exchange, you shoot the witches, I tell you to. That was the deal. All you gotta do is shoot them, I don't care where. But if you fail, our contract is broken. Shouldn't you have already made up your mind about this? Yes. I have. Oh, that reminds me. Make sure the gun is loaded before you use it again. It's still in your bag, right? Well, go on then. Let's see the magical gun. This gun... Is it really magical? You do see how tall I am, right? Put it on the floor. Still has enough magical bullets. Good, good. You never know when you might need to use this. So always make sure it's loaded. You keep calling this thing magical. So why does it have to be a gun? What does it matter? You'd rather it be a sparkly magical wand? What? You want to put on a frilly pink skirt? And wave around your magic stick like some idiot? <laughs> All right. You made your point. It's for you to shoot witches. That's why it's a gun. Ah, oh, hell. He's coming. Well, time's up. We'll discuss the next witch tomorrow. Meet me at school. Oh. I thought I smelled something good.
Have you had dinner? I just made some. Would you like to join me? <laughs> no. I won't fall for that again. You can only stay here the rest of this month. Yes, of course. But I did already make this, so... It would be a shame to waste it. <sighs> well, I wouldn't want all this to be thrown away. <sighs> Fine. I'll eat. Thank you. Mentioned it. Oh, yeah. I didn't know you were into action movies. That one was a masterpiece. Pretty awesome. Lucky you. That series is really cool. It featured all kinds of different kaiju. If you love movies that much, you should check out this drama series. What's it about? You've never seen it before? You're so interesting, Fuyasaka-san. That girl. I hope she turns out to be a witch. Oh. Hmm. oh, Yakushiji. So, you and that girl. Looks like you two are pretty close. <laughs> what are you talking about? More importantly, why are you talking to me? We'd get expelled if they knew we were living together. That's why we decided not to talk to each other at school. me to carry this stuff from the old building you know that place is freaking scary at night it's all dark and totally deserted i heard some shady people hang out there now i'm back oh. so you're back oh fine just walk right on by like you can't see me. If only a cat could count on a person to wait for them. And, oh, I don't know, actually tell them what their plans are. Oh. I'm going to be staking out the witch tomorrow. So when school is over, hurry your dumb human legs and get to the passageway outside the old building. Now repeat it to me. When school is over, hurry to the old building passageway. Oh yeah, and how about next time you address me? Show a little respect and you, sir. I'm going to be staked. So in school and get to now rip. When school is. Oh, yeah. Show a little.
What should I make for... I think we have some ground beef. I'll make Juro's favorite meal. Time to cook some Hamburg steak. You're just gonna start cooking like nothing happened. It's like you're more cat than I am. And done. Ah, oh, hell. He's coming. All right, listen up. I'll be waiting for you after school. You better not forget. Oh. I thought I smelled something good. Have you had dinner? I just made some. Would you like to join me? <laughs> no. I won't fall for that again. You can only stay... Yes, oh, but I did all... It would be a sh... Mm, well... <sighs> Thank you. We agreed not to be seen together. That's why we've been leaving at different times. A meeting like this defeats the purpose. Should we start going together then? <sighs> You're missing the point. Oh. Yo. Good morning, Amiguchi kun. Morning. Hmm? What's oh. up? Oh, uh, it, it's nothing. What are you listening to? Just brushing up on my English conversations. Wow. I'm obviously kidding. I'm jamming to rock, of course. Oh. Well, your grades are always so good. It seemed believable. <laughs> you think so? I was wondering, can I come over today? Sure, why not? Great. Oh, right. Gonna swing by the vending machines before class starts. Okay. I'll see you after school. I'll say it again. After school, old building passageway. Got that? Fluffy. Huh? There's nobody here. Why are you hiding? Here, kitty kitty. The hell are you doing? over there all right crazy come on it's time to work <sighs> the next witch is inside the old building he's a boy with short hair and is wearing a school uniform with no buttons so I just shoot him and his powers will be sealed right uh-huh now, there could be one small hiccup. He's got a very not-magical gun, and he might use it on you. That seems like a pretty big hiccup to me. Well, in case you've never been shot before, it hurts. So... Oh.
to be shot. not here. There's no one here. Maybe he made a mistake. Stomping around with your gun out like that? You're not sneaking up on anyone that way. So you've been hiding. You're from Sector 3. You're from back then. So you're the one. You're one of Juro's friends. What are you doing here? It doesn't concern you. I don't think this was your idea. Who are you being used by? I'm fine with being used. If it's for Juro, I'll do whatever I have to. Wait! Juro, where are you? The last place the Sentinel was seen. It should be somewhere nearby. <gasps> the Sentinel. But where's Juro? Juro, where are you? He couldn't possibly still be in there. Everything's so dark. I can't see your face. Why? Why did you get in that sentinel? You knew this is what would happen. No. I wanted to protect. 
what was important to you. I wanted to... protect... you. Juro! One sentinel to do all this? Unbelievable. Please! You have to help him! The moment you enter the sentinel, you inflict irreversible damage to your brain. Your memory is destroyed. And worst case, you become a husk. <gasps> Just being inside for a few minutes can be fatal. Izumi endured that pain. He fought in there for over two hours. He displayed incredible strength, but... You understand, don't you? It's too late for him. Are you from the future, too? There was a time I fought alongside him. So you're one of his comrades, and yet, he won't even try. Please! There must be something you can do! Izumi was a dependable and true ally. I will mourn this loss as well. Carefully. I should stay near the station, where it's crowded. Now, I should sort out my thoughts. So I'm... from another world? I said so in that message to myself. Must have still had my memories when I left it. I also said something about a way to escape this world. <sighs> Details about the dead woman I found. Chihiro Morimura, 31. Sakura High School nurse. Sakura High School? Isn't that where the ID card came from? A note that was included with the files on Morimura. It says, if capture is not possible, and shoot to kill. Did I kill her? Did someone order me to do it? Sakura High School, Class 1B. Iori Fuyusaka. She definitely looks familiar. But from where? Why can't I remember? An outdated transceiver for communication purposes. It has a very limited range. As long as it's set to stun, it won't kill anybody. But it's strange. Why do I know how to use this? Oral NM C0204 is printed on the label. The bottle's made of plastic. There's nothing inside. an emblem on it. Maybe it's a car key? The note says 443-685-3214. What could it mean? A password of some sort? The note's four... What could it mean? Maybe if I... I'll find... Come in. 
anyone, and that includes him. The note says, Fort, what could it mean? Both the victim, they're from Sakura. Maybe this female student knows something I... Sounds like school just started. I'm so late! Uh, crap. I need to drop by the track room first. Hmm. No sign of her. first. Iori, was there something you wanted to tell me? Huh? B well, like I said before, I still like you. Even if it is one-sided. to you oh that's my student ID I thought I'd lost it but I'm glad you were there to find it for me thank you Chihiro Morimura she's the school nurse here right huh yeah she is what about her? <sighs> what if... <sighs> Ever since that day, 
She hasn't come back to school. Could something have happened? Which day? The day I heard about Miss Morimura's secret. Uh, I'm sure she's fine. Morimura's secret. We must accept our fate. Huh? <laughs> That's not good. Okay, he's gone. Thanks. Chihiro Morimura, a key member of Shikishima's weapon development team. The one I found dead. Do these pills belong to you? Pills? No, those aren't mine. Wait, aren't those the pills you've been taking? Oh. My mistake. These are mine. What are they for? Are you sick? I'm fine. It's nothing to worry about. Oh no! My first class is about to start! What will you do now, Akun? I'm gonna pay a visit to the nurse's office. But those men... Won't they be on campus too? <sighs> Why don't you meet me here after school's out? I'll show you where to go. All right. I'll see you later. We must accept our fate. That's what Chihiro Morimura said. It's hazy, but I think I remember. So this is where you've been. I figured I'd give the area an advanced survey. Quite the view. Worth taking in one last time. Right. I expect there to be considerable damage. We weren't prepared for them in Sector 1. There was nothing we could do. But not this time. We will fend them off. I certainly hope so. We've managed to prepare 19 Sentinels. And we've had positive results in our battle simulations. That won't mean much if our enemies have evolved. It seems our victory ultimately depends on luck. So let's assume we're met with the worst case scenario. If we fail this time, we'll perform another loop. And we'll start over from the very beginning. We'll have a greater chance of success that way. Even if it means leaving this world behind? No. No more running away. If we don't settle this here, then I'm initiating Operation Aegis. So you intend to close the loop, then? If you do, no one will be able to leave. At the very least, will survive you expect us to grow old and die in this godforsaken place when that time comes we must accept our fate in any case yes if we win now we can avoid such an outcome then we'll finally be able to leave this world and <gasps> Sekigahara-kun how long have you been standing there I don't know who you people are, or where you came from. And frankly, I don't care. Just as long as you can defend my city from the Kaiju. Without retreating, that is. You'll be the one in the Sentinel protecting the city. We're counting on you. Well... I assume you have some questions for me. There's something I need to confer. If I keep my end of the bargain, 
Then you're gonna stop using Ryoko Senpai, right? Please understand, I never had any intention of using her. But I'll try to be more careful going forward. For the Sentinels, you want command over. You require third generation machines, right? Correct. Then I'll update their systems as promised. Though I have to ask, why are you having me do this? Wouldn't it be faster to go directly through Morimura? I believe a shift in the chain of command is in order. And I'd like it to be done without her knowledge. Depending on how the situation unfolds, there's a possibility she may resort to drastic measures. Is that what she was just talking about? This... Operation Aegis? <laughs> That's right. Close the loop? What are they talking about? Are they planning on abandoning the city? No. I can't let that happen. I need more details on this so-called operation. Operation Aegis. What is its purpose? The enemy's main target is the underground mainframe. Each terminal is equipped with a self-defense protocol. However, the enemy's attacks seem to bypass it. So the moment they strike, we'll hack the terminal. This will activate the defense protocol. The Aegis system. Isn't that a good thing? Not exactly. Doing so will render our time machine useless. And that means we can never start over again. What's so bad about that? It doesn't matter as long as we succeed, right? Time will cease to flow in this world. When it does, everything will descend into chaos. And in the end, we'll be the only ones left behind in this hellscape. <sighs>
Did you see that, Usami-chan? It was that kitty again. I don't see it. Must have taken off already. So many great cats around here. Maybe someone's feeding them. Every day, I have strange dreams. They keep me up at night. <sighs> so sleepy. Think it's the same one I saw at school? Well, a lot of cats look like that. Whenever I think about him, my heart starts racing. It's like love at first sight. If I said that, would he laugh at me? You saw it too, are you Yua-chan? Yua chans my good friend. She's gentle, kind, loves talking about romance, even though she's shy with boys. Usami-chan sits at the desk in front of mine. She has red glasses, braids, and seems a bit weird, honestly. After this, you wanted to go to the record store, right? Yes! You must really want that new idol group's album. Well, you know the lead vocalist? He looks a bit like Amikuchi-kun. So what? Jeez. Man, all the guys at school suck. There's not even one you might like? Damn. About Amiguchi-kun. I heard he's not joining the basketball team. What a shame. He's so good at it. Back in grade school, he played soccer. But one day, he just... got bored and quit. You guys knew each other back then? Yeah, in fourth grade. Nachan too. We were in the same class. Let's see. Now where were we? Hmm. Even just watching from afar, it's like your heart's wrapped in a warm blanket. Are you sending your love letter, Miwa-chan? I don't know. My fortune said bad luck this week, so... I see. Confessions take a lot of courage, huh? Yuri-chan... Ah, uh, sorry, sorry. Don't mind me. Let's see. Now, where were we? Hmm... Maybe, but come on. Have you seen how the guys react when Morimura walks in? Let's just say they're not looking at her eyes. She does have a nice figure, and I can sort of understand. You should get a four-leaf clover, Yori-chan. Huh? It's a love charm. I saw it in a magazine. If you include it in a love letter to your crush, your wish will come true. Uh-huh. And what was it last week? Put a photo of your crush inside your pillow? Let's see. Now, where were we? Hmm. As for guys I like, I think Amiguchi comes <gasps> here. Hmm. How do you. Oh. Did you see that, Usami chan? It was that kitty again! I don't see it. Must have taken off already. After that, you wanted to... Yep, you must... Well, he looks... So... Man, all the guys at school suck. There's not even one you might like? <gasps> Being in love is How wonderful, Sunny-chan. Even just watching from afar. It's like your heart's wrapped in a warm blanket. Oh, man. Did you see that, Usami-chan? It was like... I don't see it. Must have taken off already. So many stray cats around here. Maybe someone's feeding them. That kitty. Think it's the same one I saw at school? I don't know. A lot of cats look like that. 
You saw it too, right, Yuri chan Didn't it look the same? Oh, it's over there! I don't see it. Must have taken off already. So many stray cats around here. Maybe someone's feeding them. After you wanted to... Yeah, you must... Well, he looks... So... Man, all the guys at school suck. There's not even one you might like? Being in love <gasps> is wonderful, Sami-chan. Even just watching from afar... Mm, how do it's I... It's like your heart's wrapped in a warm oh. blanket. Did you see that, Sami-chan? It was that kid... I don't... Must have... After you wanted... Yeah, you must... Well, he looks... So... Man, all the guys at school suck. There's not even one you might like? <gasps> Being in love is How wonderful, Sami-chan. Even just watching from afar... It's like your heart's wrapped... ...in a warm blanket. Oh, did you see that? It was like... Must have taken. Af, you wanted to. Yeah, you must real well. He looks. So Man, all the guys at school suck. There's not even one you might like. Be even just. It's like. You have you seen how. Let's just say she does. As for guys, I That guy's shallower than a cookie pan. You've got a strange taste in men, Miwako. That's mean. Goto Senpai's pretty cute too. He has a lot of secret admirers, even some of the third years. Yeah, I'll pass. Man, all the guys at school suck. There's not even one you might like? Being in love is wonderful, Sami-chan. Even just watching <sighs> from afar. It's like your heart's wrapped in a warm oh. hole. Did you see? It was like... I don't see... Must have taken off already. So many str... Maybe someone... That kitty... Think it's the same one I... I don't know. You didn't it look the... Look like that. Didn't it look the same? Must have taken off already. It's the same. You're so. Oh! Must have. Whenever my heart, it's like if I said, you would love's talk. 
Usami Chiazwa must have taken off already. So many stray cats around here. Uh, you wanted to go. Yes! You must. Well, he looks. So Man, all the guys at school suck. There's not even one you might like? About. I heard he's. What a shake back in grade, but one. You guys. Yeah, in Nachant. Are you. I don't. I. Confessions. You. Uh, don't mind. Huh? It's a if you and your wish uh -huh. put a photo. Let's see. Now hmm. being in love even just it's like your heart's wrapped in a warm blanket. Uh. Cheat uh. Maybe, but come on. Have you seen how the guys <gasps> react when Mori Mora walks in? Let's just say they're not looking mm. at her eyes. How do I? She does have a nice figure. And I can sort oh, of understand. Man. Did you see that, Usa? Must have. It, it looks. Oh, it's over there! We. You. Oh! I don't see it. Up. So many stray cats around here. So many stray cats around here. Maybe some. That kitty. Think it's the same one I saw at school? I don't know. A lot of cats look like that. You saw it too, didn't it? Look this. <gasps> Must have taken off already. Two <gasps> huh? Oh, a lot of cats look like that. You saw it too, right, Yuri chan Oh, it's over there! See it. Must have taken off already. After you wanted to get, yeah, you must re well. And he looks so, so. Man, all the guys at school. There's not even one you might like. Being in love is wonderful. Mila Chun, you should do it. Send your love letter. Huh? But it said my luck for this week is bad. I see. Confessions take a lot of courage, huh? Yuri-chan. Uh, sorry, sorry. Don't mind me. Let's see. Now, where were we? Oh. Even just watching from afar. Hmm. It's like How your heart's wrapped in a warm blanket. Maybe, but come on. Have you seen how the guys react when Mori Mora walks in? Let's just say they're not looking at her eyes. She does have a nice figure, and I can sort of understand. As for guys I like... That guy's shallower than a... Goto Senpai's pre- a lot of... Yeah, I'll... Man, all the... There's not even one... Than just watching from a it's like your heart's wrapped in a uh, me seeing how the guys react when that guy's shallower than a cookie pan you've got a strange taste in oh, men you ago did you see that it was like i don't see it must have so many stray uh, cats around wanted... here yeah. you must well he looks so Man, all the guys at school suck. There's not even one you might like? Being in love is wonderful, Sami chan Even just watching from afar. It's like your heart's wrapped <gasps> in a warm blanket. Hmm, how do Maybe, I? Maybe, but come on. Have you seen how the guys react when Mori Mora uh -huh. walks in? Did you see that, Usami-chan? 
It was that kitty again. I don't see it. Must have taken a after you want it. Yeah, you must. Well, he looks so mate. There's not even one you might like. Being in love is wonderful, Sami chan. Even just watching from afar, it's like your heart's wrapped in a warm blanket. <sighs> Maybe, but come on. Have you seen how the guys react when Morimura walks in? Let's just say they're not looking at her eyes. She does have a nice figure, and I can sort of understand. <gasps> I think Amiguchi comes handsome. That guy's shallower than a cookie pan. You've got a strange taste in men, Miwako. That's mean. Gosho said that's pretty cute, too. Oh, man, did you see that, Usami-chan? It was that kitty again! I don't see it. Must have taken off. So many, maybe, so... That kitty... I think it's the same one I saw it after you wanna yeah, you must well he looks so man, all the guys at school suck. There's not even one you might like. Being in love is wonderful, Sami chan. Even just watching from afar. It's like your heart's wrapped in a warm blanket. <sighs> Maybe, but come on. Have you seen how the guys react when Morimura walks in? Let's just say they're not looking at her eyes. She does have a nice figure, and I can sort of understand. Did you see that, Usami-chan? It was that kitty again! I don't see it. Must have taken off already. So many stray cats around here. Maybe someone's feeding them. That kitty. Think it's the same one I saw at school? I don't know. A lot of cats look like that. You saw it too, right, Yuri-chan? Didn't it look the same? Oh, it's over there! I don't see it. After this, you wanted to go to the record store, right? Yes! You must really want that new idol group's album. Well, you know the lead vocalist? He looks a bit like Amikuchi kun. So what? Jeez. Man, all the guys at school suck. There's not even one you might like? Are you sending your love li I don't know. Ice confessions. Yuri. Uh, don't mind. You should get a. Huh? It's a. L if you and your wish. Uh huh. Put a foot. Let's see. Now, where were we? Hmm. Being in love is wonderful, Sami chan. Even just watching from afar. It's like your heart starts in a warm blanket. About I heard he's what a sh back and grip that one. You got yeah, in that chant. Let's see. Now where were we? Hmm. <sighs> Maybe, but come on. Have you seen how the guys react when Morimura walks in? Let's just say they're not looking at her eyes. She does have a nice figure, <gasps> and I can sort of understand. Hmm, how do you like? Usami-chan sits at the desk in front of- She has red glasses. That guy's shallower than a cookie pan. You've got a strange taste in that? Hmm? Goto-senpai's pretty cute, too. He has a lot of secret admirers, even some of the third years. Pass. Man, all the guys at school suck. Oh, did you see that, Usami-chan? It was like 
You would chant love stop whenever my heart it's like love if I said I don't see it. Whenever they keep me <sighs> must have taken off. Uh, you want it yeah, you must well he looks so man, all the guys at school suck. There's not even one you might like. <sighs> Even just watching from afar, it's like your heart's wrapped in a warm hoing. Did you see that, Usami chan? Did you see it was like I don't must have after you wanted yeah you must well he looks so make there's not even one you might like oh. Oh. did you see that it's only chan it was that kitty again If I said that, have you seen how the guys react when Morimura walks in? As for... Man, all the guys are so... Usami-chan sits at the desk in front of mine. She has red glove. There's not even one you might... Did you see? It was like... Pot of... Must have taken... So many stray cats around here. Maybe some... I'm feeding them.
Did you see that, Usami-chan? It was that kitty again! I don't see it. Must have taken off already. So many stray cats around here. Maybe someone's feeding them. That kitty... Think it's the same one I saw at school? I don't know. A lot of cats look like that. You saw it too, right, Yuri-chan? Didn't it look the same? Oh, it's over there! I don't see it. Must have taken off already. Every day, they keep me... <sighs> so many stray cats around here. Maybe someone's feeding them. That kitty... Think it's the same one I... I don't know. After this... A lot of cats look like you that. You wanted to... Yeah, you must... Well, he looks... So what? Man, all the... There's not even... Are you... I don't... I... Confessions... You... Uh, don't mind... You... Huh? It's a... If you... You're with... Uh-huh. Put a foot... You... Huh? It's a... If you... You're with... Uh-huh. Put a photo... Uh, but I heard he's... What is... Back in grades... But one day... You got... Yeah... In... Not chan... Good now... Hmm. Being in... Even just... It's like you're... <sighs> Romance aside... I'm still hungry. Let's get more treats. Good idea. Where should we go? I'd love to Let's go back to that one place. It's a hot day today. Why don't we get soft serve? Nah. I'd rather have crepes. Let's let Yori chan decide. The soft serve place just got a new flavor in. I wonder what it tastes like. Don't you want to try it, Yuri-chan? Oh, I can smell the crepes now. We've had crepes a lot lately. So, I agree with Miwa-chan. Yeah, okay. All right, let's go! Vanilla, right? It was either this or a chocolate mint. All right, I'm gonna try it. Let's see. Mm, it's so good. Super sweet. You know what my lucky item is this week? Guess things are looking up for you then. They really are. <laughs> I can tell. I'd love to go back to that one place. Um, do you think we'll put on weight? Mm, we did just eat a lot of sugar. Yori. Are you on a diet? Is that crush getting to your head? Don't tell me, you two are taking things to the next level? It's not like that. Man, all the guys at school suck. There's not even one in my life. <sighs> Whenever at my heart, it's like love. If I said that... Being in love is you wonderful, Usami-chan. my good love's talking about... Usami-chan said she has read... It's like your heart's wrapped in a wall. You, it, you should do it, huh? But... Let's see... Now, where were we? Hmm... Maybe, but come on! <gasps> Have you seen how the guys react when Morimura walks in? Mm. How do I... They're not looking at her eyes. She does have a nice figure. And I can sort of understand. Oh, did you see that, Usami-chan? It was that kitty again! I don't see...
it. Must have taken off already. Uh, you wanna get? You must. Well, he looks so. Man, all the guys at school suck. There's not even one you might like. Oh. Being in love is wonderful, Sami-chan. Oh. Did you see that, Sami-chan? It was that kitty again. Had a must have. After you wanted to get, you must. Well, he looks. So man, there's not even. You, you should do, huh? But. You should do it, huh? But... Don't forget, you got your lucky item today. Yeah, just tell him. Oh, stop! It's so embarrassing! Watching from afar is good enough. But I do envy you, Iori-chan. You talk to Amiguchi-kun like it's no big deal. You two are chatting on lunch break, right? In the passageway? What about? Well, uh... Dreams? Let's see... Now, where were we? Hmm... Being in love is wonderful, Sami-chan! Amiguchi-kun and Kurabe-kun's dreams... They sounded a lot like mine. I wanted to talk to them about it. Maybe we're all connected. Oh, Fuyusaka-san. What brings you here? You weren't at your desk, so... I thought I'd check outside. Are you waiting for Amiguchi-kun? Well, trying to. More dream talk? <laughs> I'm sure that's what he'd want to do. But <laughs> I just want to play games. I thought I'd ask to hang out at his place. You know, I've been thinking. I know we just met here at school, but... It doesn't feel like it's for the first time. Uh, Have we met somewhere before? A long time ago? Um, I don't think so. Oh. Fuyusaka's here too. Amiguchi-kun. Did you have another dream? You guessed it. It was crazy, man. I was in this tank thing with legs, walking around, beating up monsters. Were you watching some sci-fi B-movie before bed? So you've been having dreams like that all this time? Oh yeah, especially lately. You too, right, Karabi-kun? Mine was about a UFO. I went back in time using the UFO's transmitter. I have dreams like that all the time. But in my case, I think I'm too easily influenced by movies and stuff. Why did you come here anyway? Don't tell me you're interested in our dreams. About that, the truth is, I've been having weird dreams too. It seems like they might be related, so... I thought I should talk to you guys about it. Oh yeah? What kind of dreams? I think... that was you in my dream, Amiguchi-kun. The riverbank looks so empty. There's no Century Tower. This must be before it was built. I went back 16 years. Looks like I'm the only one who made it. Were Jiro and Okinokun unable to escape? This must be around the time I was born. And I'm all alone. What am I supposed to do? What is that? 
Whoa. It's Sumire Bridge. Did I make it back? Uh. Hold on! Um... You're Chihiro Morimura, am I right? Who are you? I'm Tetsuya Ida. I was sent here by the future you. To the year 2089. The future me? She asked me to find you on Sumire Bridge 16 years prior. And tell you about our battles. We'll defeat them this time for sure. It's getting noisy. I don't want to get caught. Let's get out of here. What about that thing? Are you just going to leave it here? Don't have much choice. Gonna need it eventually. I'll worry about it later. For now, though, I think it's best you come with me. Jeez. You really gotta stop doing this. Buddy. You gotta stay quiet if we're gonna keep you hidden. Let's go. Let's go to the gate. Done with practice. We'll go there after. Sound good? Yeah, you know. Be good. Sentinel number 17. Created to fight against the tripods. It's also the robot that BJ used to pilot. His name is BJ. He's an alien that came from a highly civilized planet. His mission was to protect Earth from other evil aliens. Secret agents were rumored to deal in the extraordinary and silencing those who witness UFOs. They call them men in black. No one really knows much else. Let's go. Let's go. I do feel bad locking you up in here, but I don't know where else to keep you safe. It's like I told you this morning.
I'm sorry, BJ. But if I left you in my room, my brothers would come in. They'd be able to find you even if you were hiding. Once school's over, I'll help you find what you're looking for. You just gotta be a good boy until then, okay? or those men in black will find you. You really do seem to be everywhere. I'll come back during break. Just stay quiet until then, okay? So you're gonna be a good little alien, right? That means you gotta stay in there. I'm sorry I have to make you wait. But I'll be back soon. My room gets raided by my little brothers pretty often. Either way, I can't leave BJ at home. As for the track room, no one goes in there until after school. If I put him in my locker, odds are no one would see him. Again. Natsuno? Oh, hi. That box on the floor, it's yours, right? Uh, um, why? You always put it in your locker. Oh, you saw, huh? What is it, anyways? A clock? Uh, um, what it is, is, uh, well. It's a... it's a secret. Oh, I get it. Another silly UFO thingamajig. Whatever. Just put it away before Senpai sees. <sighs> oh, boy. She's gone now. Natsuno, find the sentinel. We must go to the gate. <sighs> I gotta be careful. This is confidential information, after all. If BJ is about to be seen by someone, I'll just hide him in my PE bag. Crisis averted. <sighs> you don't have any idea, do you? What would happen if they found you? You'd end up in Area 51, dissected on a table. Right there. <gasps> Crap. I'm going to need you to show me what's inside your bag. <sighs> Stop. He's still after me. What do I do?
really sucks. Right there. What do I do? This really. really sucks. One of them is blocked. One of them is... One of them is... Well, if it isn't Minami... Oh, God, Takun! What's up? I'm being chased by men in black suits. What? What'd they do? Nothing yet. But if they catch us, who knows? Dissection, maybe. Definitely a full body search. Full body? So those clothes will probably be in the way. Huh? You know, that little outfit. Outfit? You mean the spacesuit? Well, yeah. They take the whole thing off. I imagine they'll search every nook and cranny. For real? Those lucky mother... I mean, those sick bastards! Don't worry. I'll take care of this perv. Huh? Hey! <gasps> you ain't getting away with this, asshole! <laughs> what the... Where'd this guy come from? Never seen someone go down so easily. He came from over there. Well, that was... something. Crap! He's coming! One of them is blocked. Someone was just here. Mm. The hell are you doing here? Yuki-chan? Good timing. I could really use your help. What now? We've been pursuing a suspicious individual. She's still in the area, and she's concealing something. If I just help him out now, maybe old Four Eyes will let me have my way. Fine. It's an SIU assignment anyway, right? That's why I was hired to go undercover in the first place. All you have to do is locate her. Leave the capture to us. So, what does she look like? <gasps> There's... no way! Is Yuki-chan... 
working with the men in black? Yuki-chan. Cool. About those creepy looking dimos? They're excavation models. Drill flies, looks like. Those things are already flying. You're telling me they go underground too? Not great for my mech. I can punch like a truck, but I can't reach the guys in the air. The EMP's what you want there. They'll come crashing down to punching range. <laughs> Pain in the ass, though. Losing the Type 98 tank was a big factor in the design. The first-gen Sentinels went in hard on close-quarters combat. They ended up with a focus on raw power over mobility. They didn't know they'd have to deal with these flyers. Hey, hold on a sec, Amiguchi. How do you know all this crap? Well, uh, funny story. Guess you could say it just came to me in a dream. What the hell are you talking about? No fight. 
fight I can't win.
this life comes at you fast. What next? operating limit of your sentinel you'll feel better once you're out piloting the sentinel is an intensely demanding process 
Using it puts massive pressure on your brain. You can't remain deployed for extended periods, or you start getting backlash. Don't overdo it. I'm not responsible if you end up decoupling your brain from your nanomachines. I suggest you get out of the Sentinel right now, unless you want to forget your entire life. Not exactly a user-friendly robot. Let's get out of these, Fuyusaka. Yeah. Let's go. Boy. 